the news. Gabby Hanna. Now listen, okay? Me and Gabby haven't always saw eye to eye, but what is happening to Gabby right now is so incredibly unfair. I, I wasn't even going to cover this story because, you know, it, 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 I didn't think it was a big deal when it first came up. It was an honest mistake. But let me explain what we're talking about. Towards the end of January, Gabby Hanna uploaded a video titled Transforming into a TikTok e-girl. Now, Gabby didn't even know what an e-girl was, so she did some research and she happened to come up on a picture of an e-girl, an article about an e-girl who was actually murdered. And so she didn't read the article. She didn't know who this girl was. And so basically she just used her picture as a point of reference of how to dress up and become an e-girl without knowing what happened to this poor girl. And well, here's that clip, roll it. I was this age, this would be me. 100% For sure. This outfit right here is you already straight wear. up what I wore from seventh grade to college. And now. And now, <laughs> I do have that shirt. Why don't you do clothes right now? Okay, so now when viewers and fans and drama channels had this story, they were like, Gabby's so insensitive, I can't believe she would do this and blah, blah, blah. It was just, it was an honest mistake. Like, she didn't know who this girl was. But anyhow, her video got slammed with dislikes and now has 22,000 dislikes. Now, Gabby didn't respond right away because she thought it would be, like, disrespectful to the poor girl and the poor girl's family to, to like, make this a thing. But the hate got on Gabby so bad that she actually had to do an apology. So she uploaded a 15-minute apology video explaining, like, what happened to this poor girl and explaining that she didn't mean anything by that. She just didn't know who this girl was. And the apology was... Totally fine. I didn't see any problem with that at all. I, I didn't even really understand the hate mob in the first place. We didn't even cover this story because it's an honest mistake. However, this did not stop the drama channels from going in and going hard at Gabby, sending her even more hate. In fact, one of the reasons why the drama channels are mad at Gabby is because in her apology video, she used tags of the drama channels to kind of target those viewers to give her side of the story, which I, I find nothing wrong with, but they think that that's like a reason to cancel her. Like, I just, it makes no sense. This is what Gabby said in her story yesterday. Roll it. This is somehow being twisted into me being a bad person by trying to reach the people who wanted me to say something. And this is just a perfect example of you can't do anything on the internet without people telling you you're a bad person and this is why people don't speak up this is why people don't try this is why it took me two weeks to figure out the right way to handle this situation because no matter what people will poke holes and people will find a reason to hate you and i'm being attacked for using tags about the people who are talking about this situation wow I agree with Gabby 100%. Now, listen, I've talked to Gabby privately, and the girl is a wreck right now. She's having all kinds of breakdowns because of this hate, and she doesn't deserve it. She just doesn't deserve it. Give Gabby a break out there, and shame on some of you drama channels because you kind of called Gabby out for exploiting this poor girl when really it's you that are exploiting this poor girl. I mean, you just are. You just absolutely are. Also in the news, Tifu and James. Actually, before we get to that story, let's talk about Pretty Boy Fredo. Okay, now, the clip that you just watched was in Drum Alert episode that was uploaded a while ago. But, uh, yeah, it's just like I've been so busy with other YouTube videos and stuff and trying to get, like, ideas out before I forget about them. Yeah, I was. Uh, I've been. I've been a little bit busy, guys, and uh, maybe y'all can tell kind of just by how I sound a little bit. I don't know. I don't really feel like I, I. I sound like I don't have like a lot of energy and things. Like I'm a little tired and stuff. I had a long day, and uh, yeah, working on videos and stuff. And um, yeah, I, I'm a little tired. But yeah, watching that uh, drum alert video a while ago. Um, with the, like, talking about, like, Gabby and her situation and things. It just really felt similar to my situation with Joshua and his mom. And to hear Keemstar say that if anybody's exploiting this situation, it's the people that's continuously making these videos talking about the situation or bringing them up in, like, comment sections and all that stuff, like... I sat down, I was watching that, and I'm like, man, this is so similar to my situation. 
so so similar to my situation and that's why i'm like seeing it like now seeing it from a different perspective seeing it like outside of you know what was going on with me now i'm like i see it and i'm like yeah i still wouldn't have any bad blood with gabby because just like myself if you don't know that the person is dead like how am I, like how how is it if you're not even like looking for that if you didn't even know how am i supposed to like how how are you supposed to know that's the like that's the main question how are you supposed to know and in joshua's situation like talking about mines he didn't have it in the title it wasn't brought up in the video i didn't hear about that stuff until after i had uploaded my video and along with gabby same situation with her she didn't know about that stuff until after she had uploaded her video. So it wasn't like we both went out of our ways to talk about this dead person and things, especially if we didn't even know that we that they were dead. And then it's like people are like saying that, oh, I knew. Okay, at what point in time in the video did I address Joshua's dead mom? At what point in time did I address it? Because please let me know. As I recall, the only thing that I had said about his mom was that he was screaming in the backseat of her car. So I assume that she was alive. And I assume that that video that I was roasting of his was just him being drunk in a bar singing songs. I've seen that stuff numerous times. The fact that somebody decided to post it as a video, I was a little bit shocked by it. But it wasn't. It wasn't that video. So yeah, I'm like... People getting on me about it and things, and I'm like, here it is, then happened in a whole completely different situation. And it's just like, because I was, I was really hoping, like, somebody outside of the little community that um, Just a Robot and all these guys them built up, I was really hoping that somebody would see this. But I'm like, okay, it wasn't, like, big enough for somebody to see it. But the fact that it happened to another person... And overall, what I was saying, like, you guys are just, like, abusing this situation where, like, with me and Joshua and stuff. Like, you guys are just full-on abusing it. Like, from what? Because I think people are saying just the robot talked about it. Of course, Joshua, he made sure it was his, the, his latest video. He made sure it was a thumbnail and all that stuff. Like, my, and that's the one thing about it. It's like, why would you go through all that? Like, me, if that were to happen to me, I'm like, I'll post a video talking about it and stuff. Or may, might say like a few things about it. But this man made some like clickbait title. Made a clickbait thumbnail. Okay. And then it's like overall in the video. I'm like usually a person would like. I don't know. May, like may, maybe he's kind of like me in a way. Where I'm like stuff like that. Just be all like oh okay. Well you know. Like overall can't like be all like mad. And give these guys like a bunch of energy behind it and stuff. But um. Yeah, he just didn't really seem like, I, I don't know, maybe because I, I did say that before. It's like when he makes a video, it just seems like a actor is just like trying too hard or something. But anyways, yeah, I'm like seeing that, uh, just seeing his like or his little video about, I'm like, this is wow. Like people really out there. I'm like, you know, like RIP to his mom, like no disrespect to her. But it's like your your son's out here living foul. Like, I, I just want that to be addressed right now. Your son's out here living very, very wrong. So, just saying. But, you know, hopefully hopefully one day it's like people realize that exploiting a dead woman, it's like, it's kind of wrong. You know, and it's, I know people are going to like try to say like, oh, like I was doing it. No, I wasn't. If anything, I was just all like, because what, right after that, right after I was just like, when it was uh, determined that, yeah, his mom was dead and all that stuff. Yeah, I was like, I apologized. But you guys still was making videos about it. You guys were still all in my comment sections about it. So that's why I'm like, no. At, at this point in time now, do I still like feel like all apologetic for it and stuff? No, I don't. Because I'm like, who, like, it's like, especially with Joshua, I'm like, Bro, like, why why are you exploiting your mom for views? I, and I remember I seen there was this uh, person that I was following stuff. He was kind of, like, paying attention to the situation. Even he was saying, like, dude, you're exploiting your mom for views. Like, that's sad. That is really sad. Man, I'm like, I, I, I don't know. I couldn't carry on like that on YouTube. I, I cannot be that person and stuff. I hope I'm never that person on uh, YouTube. 
because I'm like I I have I know people are gonna like say that oh like I've um I've talked about death and things yeah more so to warn people I've talked about like I think it was like the one time I did like it was my I think it was yeah my grandfather and I was like didn't overall know how I was gonna like take it so I'm like hey letting people know like you know if I don't like upload for the next few days weeks or months it's because it's like a loss in the family and even for one of with like one of my friends when he uh uh i think it was yeah both my friend and my cousin and when they both got killed at parties and stuff i was more so just like warning people the dangers of parties but i wasn't making videos talking about guess who got killed at a party with like a surprise looked on my face as the thumbnail and things like yeah it's stuff like that like bro you exploiting you exploiting people like your own your own blood for views that's sad i'm sorry but that is sad so i don't mean to go in on a person like that but i'm saying like do you need a reality check bro like <laughs> nobody should not carry on like that especially over some like youtube drama especially over a person that you don't know and it's like just over what me not listening to people like this is how far it has to go nah i'm like i i'm sorry but i'm like i it's like I from now on I'm like when people when it's like you start like going off on my comment section talking about oh T Moss boss laughed at a dead person and this and that sit sit down and think about it. go back watch that video you go over all of that history and see who's really wrong in this situation because that Keemstar that drama alert video I'm like that that's a, the same situation that's identical to what me and Joshua's situation was so. But anyways, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.